everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Gibson Mod Shop Collection Update. I'm your host as always, Seabus Bryant, uh, from the rock band Sanitarium. Check us out, sanitariumrockband.com. All right, this week's collection is 10 guitars, and there's only five left. There was a little sneak peek, so let's jump right in. Our first guitar, 1964 SG Standard Reissue, Toasty Natural. Okie dokie. I'm liking this top. I'm not sure what it is, though. I don't think that's maple. Hmm. Not mahogany, no. Not sure. But you get that, which I, I like the I like it. I like the finish. You get the speed knobs. Three ply uh, three ply pick guard with the tenon cover, and of course, well, it looks like you get nylon saddles. And you get a whole bunch of goop all over your uh, electronics and whatnot there to make it look quote unquote old. Whatever. Smearing Vaseline all over it. Dirty Vaseline, you know, whatever. <laughs> At least they're making you pay extra for it. We got the fret nibs. I'm, hmm, ebony fretboard? Not sure. I think it might be a dark rosewood. Not entirely sure. Let's see what they did to the back. All right. Do we have. So we have this wood again. Okay, so that's probably a one piece. This is a nice, nice top and nice back. Mahogany neck, for sure. And there's our fancy little Gibson Mod Collection sticker. Get the crown inlay. Do -do 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 -do. There's that sticker, and they kind of blurred it out there. Not blurred it out, but you know what I mean. Gibson Mod Collection, and okay, what's that? Is this this isn't a custom? It didn't say custom. It just said reissue, right? Yeah. All right, no DS number. Okay, I gotta find out what this wood is. I like the look of it. I do. I really like the look of it. Although, kind of reminds me of a cutting board. <laughs> All right, let's dive into this. 1964 SG Standard Reissue. So it's got a year, and it's got the word reissue. So, four and a half grand? Hey, look at that, $99 off. Woohoo! Is it still available? I think I reset these before I started recording, so yes, that is still available. We have a 2024 1964 SG. Toasty natural finish. I like the finish. Modifications consist of the finish that I like. Custom bucker pickups. Stop bar tailpiece. Black speed knobs. Weighs 7.65 pounds. Body material mahogany. That's surprising. I've never seen a mahogany wood grain like that. Alrighty then. Custom buckers. Rosewood fretboard. That's dark rosewood. Or really, really, really thirsty rosewood. Net material mahogany. I'm surprised. Okay. It's, that's not the picture I wanted. There we go. This says this is mahogany. Maybe I've just never seen. I, I, I no, I, I've never seen mahogany with this kind of wood grain. Okay. Next, nineteen fifty nine Les Paul Standard Reissue L Regal. I almost said legal. <laughs> Regal eggplant. I think we've seen that. What was that pop? Good lord! Do you hear that? <laughs> that was weird. All right, let's move this over there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nineteen fifty nine Les Paul Standard Reissue. Regal eggplant. I think we've seen this color before. This finish. We get the black reflector knobs. We get the uncovered pickups. I wonder. That is definitely a deep purple. Dan, 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 dan. Yeah, whatever. Yes, I did it wrong on purpose because, you know, copyright. <laughs> Love that rosewood fretboard. Another dark one, but. At least this one looks streaky. Uh, I'm going to go with natural back. Yep. Oh, we get a stinger, though. That's a nice looking back, too. See, that That looks like mahogany wood grain. I wonder what they did different with the other one. Cream back plates works. It's not a purple stinger, though. That's kind of surprising. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. 941581. Huh. 
are they giving them completely new uh, 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 <laughs> serial numbers now? Not, not The DS is gone? Or is that typical? This was a reissue, wasn't it? Okay. I'm liking this one. Let's get a better look at that. Gibson Mod Collection uh, logo, stampy, sticker thingy. <laughs> Single room, single ring. We got uh, what? That's not waffle back tuners, is it? Don't forget to oil them. Nice side profile. Okay, I mean I know that's just the neck though. No color there. That mahogany looks nice. Fred nibs. Kind of see that purple a little better there. You know it's going to be shimmery, not sparkly, but shimmery. Oh, oops, sorry. Buried the lead. $5,700. Whew. That one's still there, isn't it? Yar. 2024, 1959, Les Paul Standard Reissue has Regal Eggplant Finish. Modifications consist of the exclusive custom finish with a stinger, a lightly tinted natural back, okay, black open coil custom bucker Alnico 2 pickups, Clusen Deluxe Tuners, blah, 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 8.45 pounds. Any fancy electronics? Nine. Oh, it's not letting me go. Go. Come on. Nine on the fancy electronics. Custom bucker. I wonder if this started off as a slash guitar. Hmm. Anyway. Not a bad color. Nice deep purple. Kind of a smoky kind of on the water type deal. Okay. I'm done now. <laughs> Next, 1958 Les Paul Jr. Double Cut Reissue. Okay, the first three guitars have all been yeared, yeared reissues. Yeared, not weird. Yeared. Huh, okay. 1958 Les Paul Jr. Double Cut Reissue. Turquoise mine. Not yours, mine. Mine, 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 mine. I like the way the... <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. I like the way the, the, the gold works with this one. That's a gold painted pick guard. From this picture, it almost looks recessed. I think it's just an optical illusion, though. I don't think that's. Yeah, that'd be kind of neat, though. Have it recessed into the body. It's a thirsty rosewood board, but nice looking. I'm liking the color. I wonder if the if the black. Soap bar cover would have been better, though. But you get a wrap tail. No lightning bolt. Looks like it might be slightly intonatable with the little screw easier on the sides. I don't know. I'm going to try to picture that with a black cover instead. You get two gold speed knobs to match the goldie goldie of the picky guard. And, of course, it's a full-on reef in. I'm digging this color. Little button tuners, though. Yuck. The matching um, truss rod cover works. And yes, I see it. Do you see it? I think this is the second time they've done this with the uh, logo, though. Made it all gold and shimmery. Kind of like it. But down here, look at that. Look at that. Somebody got mad and just like, with their, I almost said toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> Screwdriver, that's the word I'm looking for. Well, that should take like a couple hundred dollars off the price, right? What, do we have a DS number now? Yep, DS2, okay. Uh, wow, that's really messy. 221, maybe? 821? I mean, that's that's terrible looking. Good lord. Keep the paperwork for this one. Somebody forgot to wipe the excess paint off or something. Yeesh. Are they going to show a close-up of that? Of the, yeah, that looks terrible too. Alligator case. Somebody must have found a bunch of these laying around or something because they've been using them lately. For the juniors, I think. All right, so we got 58, 1958. We got a year. We got your word reissue. Even though it's one pickup, it's a double cut, which is kind of quote unquote rare, I suppose. So, what, 3,200? 
I was only what? 32, 64, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, oh, geez, I can't do math right now. $4,800. Are you kidding me? Good lord. 2024, 1958 Les Paul Jr. double cut reissue. Turquoise mine finish, not yours. Um, like <laughs> the old phrase, there's no, uh, there's you, uh, there's no, uh, I, there's no I in team. I, I'll get it eventually. There's no I in team. I said, yeah, well, there's no you in mine. Okay, there we go. Modifications consist of the collection exclusive finish. I like the finish. No grain filler. Turquoise satin throughout. We get demo shop finished pit guard in metallic gold. Demo shop finished pit guard in metallic gold. Okay. Gold speed knobs, cream plastics, blah, blah, blah. Lift in historic gator skin hard shell case. 7.6 pounds. P90. No fancy electronics. Not a surprise. It's a pretty looking guitar. I like the way it looks. I that No. <laughs> Price is insane. Next. We have an SG special. Metallic copper satin. Okay. Oh, they're doing that thing with the, the with the pickup rings again. Okay, so they did this. What was that last week? That they did it with the mini humbucker with the double uh, pickup rings. I think the soap bar looks neat with it. Actually, that that kind of looks neat in and of itself. Although maybe a darker color. I think. Uh, Oh, no, well, wait, wait a minute. What do we have here? So we got this cover here that's doing nada. I wonder if you can convert that. Hmm. Okay, we got the black reflector knobs. We got this intonatable uh, wraparound tailpiece, which has a name and it's escaping me. No, I'm not going to get it. That looks rather high up on each string, though, doesn't it, for an intonation? Leaving very little wiggle room for almost all those. Well, all those maybe G string maybe. I believe we had we had an SG. What was that last week? That it had this tailpiece on it, and Trogley said that it was a. Uh, I think it was in the European shop maybe, but Trogley said it 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 started life out as a Tony Iommi, monkey guitar. I, I don't know. I guess, do they use that pick guard? The, the, uh, I'm forgetting the name of everything today, aren't I? Oh, well. This thing looks neat, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder if it's convertible. I'm, I'm digging this gold. I figured they would do a full-on refin on it. I'm really digging the gold. The gold looks great. And I'm not an SG fan. But that gold is pretty. Looks like we got locking tuners. Grover locking tuners. Look at that gold. That is just gorgeous. Of course, <laughs> good lord, Gibson. I keep telling them to feed their employees. You keep gnawing on the things as on the guitars as they come by on the on the uh, assembly line. That is wow. That is a gouge and a half. How is there any <laughs> How is there any binding left? Lord. Somebody just tried to bite the whole thing off. Oops, somebody lost a fingernail. <laughs> that looked like a finger if you look at the outline of the the indentation with the light outline. You know, it looks like somebody got their finger stuck in there. <laughs> That's pretty gold, though. Oh, I'll that say it again. All right. $2,000. That's a 2021 SG special. Where have you been, little SG? We have Tone Pros, Tone Pros adjustable wraparound bridge, decorative non-functional. Okay, that's usually decorative is non-functional. <laughs> Lyra tail vibrola. Lyra. Okay, that cream plastic P90 in the bridge, mini humbucker in the neck, black plastic surround. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Almost so close. To the evilest weight ever. 6.65 pounds. Maybe this did start off as a Black Sabbath guitar. Damn. Tony I only one of the founders of metal, I think. Nothing special with the electronics. 
rosewood, mahogany. He's one of those guitar players that, uh, how to describe this? It's, they can come up with something that, that sounds so simple, but it's really hard to come up with. And it just really, really works, you know? It's like, that's such a killer riff, you know? And you go and you learn how to play it, and it's like, that's such a simple riff. How does this work, you know? And it's just the groove. You get the groove going on something. Anyway, what do we got left? Two, four, six. Oh, I, all right. Step on the gas pedal, Brian. Here we go. We're halfway done. Les Paul Custom, Bronze Tiger Burst. We got a fantastic looking top. I'm getting kind of the, the bourbon burst kind of look. We got the black reflector knobs, gold hardware. We got the staple pickup. Alnico 5 staple, staple pickup in the neck position. Definitely an ebony fretboard. That has a great looking top though. Bursted on the back. No, they went for straight maho uh, mahogany. <laughs> they went for straight ebony with the gold hardware, of course. Okay. Probably a multiply neck. I don't see our sticker. Probably not going to put them on the customs, maybe. Still stamp mod. Okay. Mod. We have locking tuners again. Perhaps. Yes, I think so. Oh, okay. DS-177. We know the ones above 200 get the sticker. Dee, 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 dee. Nothing too special there. We got Les Paul Custom. Bronze Tiger Burst. It's a nice looking burst. I, li I like it. I like the top. Uh, we got the word custom, so we're going for at least five grand. Okay, I'm a little wrong. $600 off. Okay, $4,400. Is this one of the ones that disappeared? Somebody got this. Not surprising. 2024 Les Paul Custom. P90 in the bridge. Staple single coil neck pickups. New pick gird. Black top hat knobs. It weighs 8.45 pounds. Fingerboard material is indeed ebony. I don't know if you could have special electronic. Well, you can. But some of the P90s are. They, do, they can do weird things. I don't know. I don't remember what it is. But one of them had the push pull pots and all that. Next, that's a good looking guitar. Next, ES335 Worn Aqua. This one's giving me Dave Grohl vibes, although his is more gray, isn't it? And it probably has the wrong headstock. I'm, I'm digging this. It's a little off, though. Wait, didn't we see this color last week on something else and it looked, it looked sh like shit? Like it looked like a, a badly painted drywall wall <laughs> I can't remember if that was on I think it was on the last Paul we got some nastiness going on over there so this is kind of just a plain satin top nothing eh special ew see okay that just looks wrong yeah I don't dig this color interesting kind of fade going on there though oh just my ice Deceive me. Oh, look at that. Okay. Have you ever seen the, the button tuners? Not white? <laughs> Just metal? That looks like I got a... Hey, Mr. Cameraman. Person. Camera person. How are you doing? <laughs> it's a 2022. I don't know if I've ever seen the button tuners with metal tips. Yeah, we saw that in the first picture. Ooh. Ah. Whoopsie. Somebody's gnaw. That looks like somebody let their, like, I don't know, pet hamster run around gnaw on things. I'm not a fan of this color. It just, maybe if it was a gloss, but yeah, I don't, I none like it. $3,000. Did somebody like it? Nope. It's still there if you like it. 2022 ES335 Warren Aqua Finish. Modifications consist of the dull finish with dark brown satin neck, which totally, totally doesn't go with the rest of the color of the guitar. Grover Deluxe Tuners with nickel buttons. Ah, oh, nickel buttons. Isn't that a band out of uh, Canada? Nickel buttons. Burst Bucker 61 pickups. Eh, I don't like those. Weighs 8.35 pounds. Rosewood fretboard. 
eh, this guitar is just eh. 3000 I think you could probably knock a grand off of that for all the crap that's on there. But, well, I mean, maybe it is a little harder to make these, although they are sandwiched. Next! 1963 Les Paul SG Jr. reissue Dark Chocolate... Chocolate? <laughs> Charcoal Metallic. Okay, we're going to go at least, what, four? Yeah, close enough. $3,800 for this. Charcoal Metallic. We got one pickup. We got a lightning bolt tailpiece. That means it's got the little ridges there, which kind of helps with intonation. We got a dog-eared P90. This is an interesting color. I get the, the name suits it perfectly. Got a gray-black kind of going on. I think an ebony fretboard would have looked better on this one. Either that or a really streaky, uh, really streaky uh, dark red rosewood board. Full-on refin? Of course. I don't think I've ever seen an SG where they don't do that. Let's see if they got a close-up picture. Oh, well, there you go. You get the old-time Logie. Logie? Logo. That would have looked better in the, with the gold. That same gold from that uh, that double cut would have looked better on that. Because you really can't see it. No button tuners. Yeah, I kind of like this color. I'd like to see this one in person just to see the, the way the color kind of... Oh, my God. Did somebody try to melt this guitar down? <laughs> What is that? It looks like the uh, decals peeling off underneath. I know there isn't one, but you know. That's, wow, okay. <laughs> Got it too close to the fire. It's a crappy looking top of your nut again then. I guess that's what they're showing us there. And you get a nice case, 1963, $3,800. 2024 1963 Les Paul SG Jr. reissue. Dark charcoal, charcoal metallic finish. I'm liking the finish. You get the exclusive finish. You get the matching headstock face and silver metallic vintage Gibson logo. Woohoo! Mod collection decal on the back. Okay, do you really have to put that? Okay. Gibson Deluxe Tuners with green keys. Blah, 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 blah. 6.75. Oh, it's got. Paper and oil capacitors, hand wired. Ooh, fancy. 6.75 pounds, not bad weight for an SG. You gotta worry about that neck dive though with SGs. We have anything fancy? No, just the, well, we only have one P90, so how could you have anything too fancy? That's not a bad looking guitar. A, a lot overpriced, but not a bad looking guitar. Next, what we got, three left? Okay. I like the color of this one so far. We got a Les Paul Standard 50s Bellini Blast. What is Bellini? He asked. Oh, cocktail of Prosecco, sparkling wine, and oh, okay. peach puree or nectar. Oh, I was in and then I was out. I'm not a fan of peach. I can eat a peach, like I can have a peach, but peach flavored anything peach jam peach ice cream peach whatever i'm not a fan i don't know why it's very weird but this color is pretty cool i, I definitely see you know what they're going for there the peach got that sort of that champagne pink that they've used before on guitars the gold uh top hat knobs work well with this Yeah, this is working. I, I'm really getting, <laughs> really getting peach vibes. Once, once they told peach, I'm trying to figure out what it started off as though. It wasn't a gold top. Okay, maybe it was. You have the nice dark red back, which kind of doesn't really go with the front, unless this is the pit. <laughs> okay, this is the peach pit, but it isn't really called a peach guitar. Nothing too fancy there. Here's our logo again. Single ring. You got the green tips. And then you, that must be the back of the guitar. 
kind of got haziness to it. You're not going to charge us more for the haziness? I mean, isn't that... <laughs> Just call it VOS when dirt gets in there. Okay, so maybe it started off with as a red top? Hmm, not sure. Okay, I like this case. You know, I like I like the look of this one. It looks nice. Not sure about the back, though, but, you know, hey. $2,800, I think this one's gone. Yeah, that's not surprising. 2024 Standard 50s Bellini Blast finish. Modifications consist of the finish with VOS finish. Oh, it was on there. Okay, VOS. So you put the goop on there. Hip, hip, hooray. It's the wax that covers the, uh, <laughs> uh, that covers the peach. Burst Bucker 61 pickups. Again, not a fan. Cream pick guard switch washer included in the case. It weighs 9.25 pounds. A little on the hefty side, but not bad, not bad. No fancy electronics. So there you go. Somebody was happy with this. I can understand. It looks good. It's a good looking guitar. Next, we got two left. I know which one I'm going for. Love the green on this one. 1964 ES-335 reissue. Bullion green metallic. Not sure about the word bullion, isn't it? Yeah, I like this green. Nice dark pool table green with the black reflector knobs. Yeah, this is working. Yeah. Is that an ebony fretboard? Maybe. Now, put this color on the back, please. Put this color on the back and leave the sides natural. That would be a cool profile. Okay, so far so good. Isn't that just a, like a really cool green? I like it. It's like they turned Kermit into a guitar. <laughs> I'm kidding, 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 kidding. We get Stinger maybe? Hang on. Is that just an optical illusion? Yeah, I think it's just an optical illusion, so to speak. Waffle back tuner. That's the waffle back tuners. With the big keystone uh, heads. <laughs> no, nope, we don't get natural sides. It's just the green. But that green really, really pops here. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'd love to see this one in person. Yeah, that looks better than I thought it would. Somebody lost a hair with an eyelash. <laughs> Stop wearing fake eyelashes on the line. You lose them in the guitar finish. 1964. Uh, well, okay, sorry. $4,900. I messed up. $4,900. Five grand for that. <laughs> okay. 2024-1964 ES-335 reissue. Bullion green with helic finish. Liking the finish a lot. Yeah, nickel clicks and waffle back tuners and no pick guard. Or dial pointers installed. Okay. So no thumb bleeders? All right. <laughs> uh, 7.9 pounds. Not a bad weight. Not a bad weight at all. It is a rosewood. Okay. It is a dark rosewood. Fancy electronics? No. Custom Bucker Alnico 3 pickups, though. There you go. Not even the T-types. Interesting. Well, somebody grabbed hold of that one, and I don't blame them. Well, somebody who had five grand sitting around. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and last, and certainly not least, 1954 Les Paul Sr. reissue, dark cast satin finish. Now, I'm in the process of making... Wow. Really digging that top. That is awesome. Uh, sorry, I'm in the process of making my first guitar from scratch. I, I've, I've done other build type deals and done other things. Uh, but I, I think I'm finally ready to try it. And this is what I'm going for. Uh, the body that I have is walnut. And I'm going for single coil, or sorry, single coil, single pickup, dark finish just like this. I know this is mahogany. It won't look like it. Uh, but maybe if I tool around with it, it's not going to have the binding, but you know, uh, we have a wrap around tailpiece, dog eared P90, loving this top. Once again, I must profess my love for mahogany tops over the maple tops. 
little black top hat knobs. I almost said speed knobs. Hmm. That might be ebony. Let us find out. I thought maybe I saw something there. I'm not sure what they're going to do on the back of this one. Okay, keep it natural. Makes sense. Nice looking back. For sure. Looks like we got locking tuners again and a DS number. Nothing too spectacular on the front. Great looking neck. Love that wood grain. We have locking tuners again? No, 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 that's not locking tuner. DS0215. Oop, somebody dropped their hammer. Doing. Sorry, boss. Oh, dropped it twice. <laughs> Hey, get a custom case. Okay, so it's got the word 50, uh, it's got the year 54, the word reissue, and it's a special senior. Dark cast satin, love this, love this color. Absolutely love it. And if that's not a mahogany top, I'll be really surprised. Uh, Six grand? That's overinflated, isn't it? Six grand? Let's go five and a half. Ha <laughs> ha on the dot. Woohoo! Promise I didn't look in advance. 2024-1954, Les Paul Senior Reissue has dark cast finish. Loving this finish. Modifications consist of the exclusive custom satin finish. Ooh, buff that up. Buff that up. As soon as you get it, buff it up. If somebody got it. Somebody get this? Yeah. Whoever got that, buff that up. I don't, I don't care if it, oh, but it's not going to be collectible. No, 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 no. no it's going to look so much better if you buff it up. No silk screen logo. Gibson Mod Collection Deco. Okay, you don't have to say that. Knuckle hardware, black plastic, blah, 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 blah. Milk bottle tuners, keystone, blah, 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 blah. 7.85 pounds. A lot of light guitars. It's got one P90. No special electronics. The body is mahogany. The neck is mahogany. The fretboard is rosewood. I'm surprised. That is a dark... That is a would you please? Thank you. All right, I kind of see it now. Really thirsty, but dark rosewood fat bird. Okay, cool. Congratulations to whoever got that one. That is our last one. Brian's got to pick his winner now. His winner for the week. Hmm. That X64 SG had an interesting top. Surprised me that it was mahogany. So here, wait. Let's let's look at this. Okay. See this top? Okay. Mahogany top. Okay? Imprinted in your brain. Brain. <laughs> Go down here. Nope, not that one. This one. Okay, this one. Also mahogany top. See a difference? Maybe it's wood grain fill, but it's definitely a different wood grain for sure. But again, again, every tree's gonna be different. But okay, so my pick for the week. Is this one? I, I this is my favorite. I know it's stupidly expensive. It has one pickup, but it's it's like a mirror of what I'm going for with my own creation. Which I think I put a couple pictures up on my YouTube channel. I think some posts. I'll, I'll do a few more. I, I've done more to it since I posted those. So anyway, you're not here for that. You were here for this. Two, four, six, eight, ten guitars. And I believe only half of them are left. Let's check again real quick here. Two, four, six. Four. Two, four, four. So <laughs> six of them are gone. This is what's left. Those two are left over from last week. Love that one. But you're not here for that. God, I love that one. Anyway... Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. I can't get my my thing to work here. Okay, thank you so much for tuning into this week's Gibson Mod Shop Collection update. And if you're lasted this long, a big thank you to you for listening for the last whoop thirty five minutes. Crashed, crashed, crashed. I went too far, too far. I told myself to do a twenty minute show. I went fifteen minutes over. Well, there were ten guitars instead of eight this week. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. Sanitarium, rockband.com. That's Sanitarium, S-A-N-I-T-A-R-I-U-M, rock, R-O-C-K, band, B-A-N-D, dot com.
Check us out. You might like it. New music coming when it comes. I've worked over some stuff over the weekend uh, that I really, really like, and I really want to take my time with it and really get it sounding good. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's Mod Shop Collection update. I will see you again next week, and as always, rock on.